10 Steps to a Short Sale. Looking for short sale information? You've come to the right place. Mike Wrigley, Certified Default Advocate, Distressed Property Expert, and your short sale specialist here. Thanks for joining us. Hey, let's talk about the 10 Steps to a Short Sale. Before we can even start the process, the borrower must first acknowledge the fact that their property is upside down and it may be years, if ever, before the property is worth what, what they owe. When this is the case, there are really only two options, foreclosure or short sale. Unless you never plan on moving, keeping an over-encumbered property just doesn't make sense. So what's step one? It all starts with the initial consultation. We sit down with you and discuss all your options and alternatives. Without giving the tax or legal advice, we review the potential pitfalls and set up uh, an appointment with a tax professional or attorney if you so desire. Step two, we collect your financial and documentation and complete the bank-specific uh, short sale application. Each servicer is different, so it's important that we get them exactly what they need before they need it. Step three, we list your property as we would any other type of transaction, complete with our total marketing program, including virtual tour, toll-free 800 property information line, text writer with QR code so potential buyers can scan the information directly to their smartphone and always a full set of color flyers. Step four, accepting the offer. We want to accept the offer that has the best chance of getting not only approved but also closed escrows. In today's tight market we find that buyers writing offers that have zero chance of getting appraised at that price so the highest offer is not always the best offer. When we get a crazy offer like that, if we were to accept it, and then that happens, we basically have to renegotiate the short sale uh, and terms, costing us some serious delays. Step five, with the right offer in hand and accepted by the buyer and seller, we submit your short sale package to your lender for review. Now, we like to submit what we refer to as the perfect short sale package, giving the servicer exactly what they want and what they need before they need it. Now, with the short sale package in the hand of the servicer, the servicer will, will determine the value of the property. Most times they will either order a full appraisal or have what's called a broker price opinion, a BPO, completed. With the value in hand, the servicer will, will determine if the net proceeds from our short sale offer is sufficient to settle the debt. There's a, a certain range that we know most lenders and investors will accept. If not, they will usually counter if so, then they approve the short sale, and we move on to the traditional part of the transaction. Step eight is during the traditional part of the transaction, short sale, the buyer will complete their investigations, get their own appraisal, and get final loan approval. With those tasks completed, we now move to the closing. Step nine is at the closing, the buyer and the seller will each sign their escrow documents, the loan will fund, and in the following days, the title will transfer to the new owners. Generally, the seller has to be out of the property the day before we close escrow. Step 10, with the escrow closed and title transferred, you, the seller, will have successfully completed your short sale and avoided a costly foreclosure, avoided a potential deficiency judgment, and if you qualify, avoid paying income tax on the uh, forgiven debt. To get a better idea, of when your property will be worth what you owe, log on to www.loanmodandshortsale.info for a free estimate or call me today for a free no obligation consultation. Call me today. You'll sleep better tonight. You'll be glad you did. We'll look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.